In this video, we'll be looking for the continuation part of control keys. That's the shortcut control part three video. Let's see that one by one. Now, if you remember, if you have on your keyboard, the numbers are given at the one, two, three, four on the upper corner till the end part. Now I'll be playing control key with the upper part itself. Let's see that one by one, one by one. So I have the control key, control one, control two, control three. What are the different shortcuts? And also for the control plus, control minus, etc. All this. Let's see that one by one. Now, the very first thing, if you see below the escape key, you have something, a key known as, you can call it as a tilt. I'll just type here so that you can easily understand. That's a key what I'm talking about. Or you can see as this key what I'm talking about, this option here, that's one. So if you press that kind of key, what will happen is, I have written some formula in this cell here. In this cell, I have written some formula. What is the formula? Number one plus number two, if you see here, D8 plus E8. Now, control tilt, which I said was, if you use that shortcut key, it will show and hide all the formulas in your entire worksheet. Control tilt, T-I-L-E-D, tilt we call it as. If you show, if you press that control tilt, you can see that show and hide all the formulas in the worksheet, control tilt. You see, I can see all the formulas wherever written. See, this is the formula, that's the formula and somewhere else that's a formula so it is written so that is for showing and hiding again i'll press it it will go back if you press again you can see all the formulas control tilt it hides all the formulas so control tilt i have written here so that you can see yes show and hide the formulas next i have the next key below that that is the control one from a keyboard let's say on the top one not from the number pad so control one in the place it says as the it will give you a dialog box that's the format cells dialog box i'll keep my cursor at any place okay, press control one and I'll get this dialog box. That's the format cells dialog box. I can choose number format, alignment. I can ch choose the border. I can choose fill and protection, all the options here. Next, I have control two. So I'll select this numbers. I mean the data itself. Control two is very simple. If you press control two, it becomes as bold. Control two is for bold. Control three is for italic. Control four is for underline. You see, that's the underlying part. And next, control five, I have something as strike through, which you can see, control five, strike through. Now, control two is for bold, three is for italic, four is for underline, and five is for strike through. Control six and seven, sadly, there are no shortcuts. Control eight is something for outline. Suppose you've applied outline to your cells, that is the column and the rows, and you can see the control eight, that is the outline. You see that's outline given here on the top, if you see. This is the outline form. So if you have previously applied only then you can see and hide it. So if you see one and two, I, if I click on one, it hides the outline. If I click on two, it opens the column basically. So control eight is for showing and hiding the outline I've written here. So I'll press control eight again, it goes back. Now, the next one is control nine. If I keep my cursor at any place, let's say this one. And if I want to hide that entire row, I'll press control nine from my keyboard, control nine. So you see this row is hidden. How do you find out? After one, if you see this is directly row number three. So two row number is hidden. So if I keep my cursor here and if I press control nine, it gets hidden, right? So if you want to bring it back, we have in the next version, but I'll show you here how to show the, uh, you know, rows. Control shift nine, control shift nine, and you can hide, show the rows. So I'll press control shift nine, but your cursor should be in that cell where it is hidden. So it's difficult to find out. So control shift nine is to show the rows. Control nine is to hide the rows. Now, what about the column? That is control zero. I'll keep my cursor in the C column. If I want to hide that column, I'll press control zero from my keyboard. You see control zero. After B, I have C which is hidden and D which is shown here. Control shift zero to bring it back. Control shift zero, it's not working here. So I'll just select and I'll bring it back in this place. So I've, I've got the column here again. So now, so that is was control nine and control zero. What about the control minus after zero? If you observe on your number pad or on your keyboard, if you see there's a minus button. So if I want to delete this cell number or if you want to delete the column or row, whatever you want, you just press control nine from your keyboard. So now it will give you a dialog box. The dialog box name is delete selection dialog box. It says, do you want to shift the cells left, right? Or you can say as left and up. That's my cursor. Do you want to shift cells on the left or up? So I'll say I want to shift it left for the first time. You see, I've shifted this left. I'll keep my cursor here. And if I press control minus, and if I say I want to delete on the left, I'll click on OK. So you see that cell has been shifted to the left hand side. So I'll press control Z. I do not want to make the changes here. So that is for control, uh, you see minus. Next I have, yeah. Now for the next formula, I have control square opening bracket, control square closing bracket. Now. I have some formula written here in the cell number for that you need to understand this concept. Number one, number two, and I've taken the sum here. So if I press control open square bracket, what will happen is it will find out the all dependence. Oh, sorry, you can find out the direct dependence. 
So on this place, it is dependent upon this two cells. So what if I press control open square bracket like this, it will select all the cells on which this is directly dependent. If I keep my cursor here at this place, if you see it is dependent upon the cell number F8 multiplied by 6, F8 is this cell number. If I press control square opening bracket, control opening square bracket, it will take me to that place. What if I want to go the other side, the vice versa. So if I keep my cursor here, this cell is used in this place. So I'll press control closing square bracket, control closing square bracket, it goes here. This F F8 is used at this place in this cell number. So I'll press control closing square bracket, it jumps to that place. So sometimes if you want to understand the dependency of the formulas or the cell numbers, you can use control open and square brackets. Sometimes it might be used. Next I have, if I want to get today's date, you can use control semicolon from your keyboard and you'll get today's date and press enter. Remember this date will not change according to your system date. It is just one time date. You will not able to change it. Next I have if I press control shift semicolon, control shift semicolon, I'll get the time exact time. Now it is 1225, right? 1225. I'm so sorry. You're not able to see it. I'll just keep my cursor here. I'll press control shift semicolon enter. So I'll get today's, I mean the current time 1225 itself. So control semicolon for today's date, control shift semicolon for time you can get it. And the last one, if I'm not left anything, yeah, that is I have the control apostrophe. Suppose I have some value here, right? If I want to copy that value in the below cell, I'll just press control apostrophe and press enter. Control apostrophe and press enter. On the left hand side of your enter key, you have this apostrophe. Similarly, if I press on this place, if I want to copy this control, that is value to control apostrophe, control apostrophe, control apostrophe. So I hope you have understood all the shortcuts given here. These are the control keys from on the top. If you have the number that is the one to zero and minus and some few shortcuts, semicolon and other semicolon. So those are easy. You, do, you have some shortcuts for control six and seven, which are not available. So you can ignore that and uh, it will save a lot of time. So I hope you have understood all the shortcuts. That's all for this video.